one day, quite a few years ago, I was in San Francisco at a, at a, giving a lecture, and a lady was buying a tape or a book from me at my table, and the book fell on the floor. And I couldn't go around the table to pick it up for her, but Cosmos was standing next to her. So he leaned down to pick it up for her. And when he did, a medallion fell out of his hippie shirt. And the moment I saw it, I knew what it was. It was a brilliantly designed double-headed eagle, Masonic double-headed eagle, with a triangle of a red, probably ruby. It was about that size, but it had a triangle ruby with 33 uh, embedded on it, cut on the ruby. And it was sitting on top of the double-headed eagle of Freemasonry. And when I saw that, for the first time I reached out and grabbed it because it was long, long, long chain. And I said, 33rd degree Mason? And he said, no, Council of 33. Meaning he's not just a 33rd degree Mason, he's on the Council of 33. In Washington, D.C., there are 33 men that run world masonry. And, uh, and it's called the Council of 33. And he's on it. And I said to him, I said, Cosmos, were you a 33rd degree when you talked with me a few years ago in Palm Springs? He said, yes. And I said, I don't understand what's going on here. And he said to me, Jordan, you go all around the world talking about political leaders, talking about the Queen of England, you badmouth the Pope, you badmouth people, you, you know, you, you, you jumping on everybody and doing what you're doing. Has anyone ever harmed you? I said, no. Has anybody tried to arrest you or to frighten you or do anything to you? I said, no. And he said, have you ever wondered why? And I said, I've never thought about it. He said, no one has harmed you because of us. We are protecting you. We follow you everywhere you go. We know what you're doing. And we're protecting you. The Council of the 33 is protecting you. 